fondue is tricky because fondue is asking students to bend their knee on one leg. This requires a placement shift. The question is, where is our weight going to be? The weight is going to be on the ball of that supporting leg. So if we don't make necessary shift, enough appropriate shift weight onto the supporting leg, it becomes like this. If I let this ball go, I fall. The first combination, remember the first combination we did, this toe situation? It's going to play a role actually in fondue, believe it or not. The connection. So look at my foot. I use my foot to shift, to help shift the weight onto the supporting leg. So I don't just lift and place my foot. I use my foot to scrape. Can you, look, can you see my foot? I go, that's the same action of this. So I'm not numb, just straight down. I use my toes to help to shift the weight. My entire weight is on the board of the supporting leg. This is absolutely critical because it is from there we can create an up and down movement. If your weight is not entirely on the ball of the foot. If the weight is even a little bit left on the heel, when you push up, there's no way you could be on your leg. So we have to set up this position for students to be absolutely certain they know where it is. That's why the dreadful fondue I always endure in my class, in, in my school. I said students, teachers made us sitting down there forever. So all muscle, both legs, understand where everything is before they let us to come up. So we're going to do fondue, and this will be a typical, a lower level speed for fondue. This is... as boring as can be. There's no mystery. If we don't create a mystery, there is no mystery to it. This combination, everybody can learn like this. I mean, how hard is it? Fondue front to back and the two releves. That's it. And that, but it's so beneficial. It is so beneficial because I feel absolutely wonderful. I feel comfortable. I feel enough time. There's just enough time for me to feel every fiber in my muscle. Just enough time and for me to feel the push while I don't have to worry about anything else. Just to feel the push. So now I want to change the tempo. Once I do this, my legs are strong. I got my core. I have my shoulder. I have my arm without shaking around. Let's say I change tempo, similar combination to see what happens. And but my body was ready for it, to change the weights. And I come up, I know exactly where the center is. So I'm not, not ready, I'm ready for it.